this morning and whipped her away unexpectedly so I've just been bouncing around fixing things and cleaning up to, today didn't do any vlogging and she's still out so I put together a tour of Corona that we did yesterday that didn't make it into the vlog because there wasn't enough time I hope you like it and uh, here it is okay so we are starting on the circle here and this is not the actual side that has all the pretty houses. We're going to go over to that side here. We're going to go over to that side here as well. But this is part of Grand that has that what used to be the racetrack. There's uh, some nice buildings here. And of course, we're going to go under, what freeway is this one? It's the 91. We're going to go under the 91. They're doing some construction, so you can see a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, I think they're widening, making the freeway wider. Is that what they're doing? Yeah. We have a continuous left turn. It just, it's a, a complete circle. Yeah. We will come right back to where we started from. And our post office is right up here. We have we have a church over here on the right hand side. That's where, that's where mom goes to church. And that's a very old church. Here's the post office we just passed. This is, this is 6th Street, which is pretty much the main street that runs through the circle right here. I used to live off of Grand Street um, in a little garage apartment I rented before, actually when I met Kevin, that's where I was living. And uh, <laughs> if you turn the doorknob, you'd rearrange all the furniture. So these are some of the older houses that are on the circle. You can see here, and then some on this side. And they've turned some of them into businesses. That's a chiropractic company some of the older houses and you even have people like selling stuff right on the corner now this is 10th street which also crosses over grand and i lived right up here somewhere down uh, behind one of these houses so coming up onto some of the few victorians that are still left on the circle we got a nice nice Queen Anne right on the left over here that's been going through some renovation and uh, here in California you don't see that much anymore unless you do back east you might see that you might be bored of them back east but here it's such a rare sight to see something most of the houses that you see around here are arts and crafts this it's a nice Queen Anne Victorian oh they painted it yeah they're painting Alright, here's the Queen Anne. Um, so someone's doing <coughs> restoration. Yeah, someone is doing some restoration on it. And it's got the wraparound porch. It's got the turret. The, it used to be blue. And now they're painting it a, um, like a mustard yellow, yeah. I would say. Which isn't one of our favorite colors. Um, a true Queen Anne has how many colors? Well, it, nowadays they, they do what they call painted ladies. I don't know if it's original, but most Victorians used uh, at least three colors. So, painted ladies, you could have more, but I think that's more of a modern take on things. But I would love to have that house. I've, it's never been up for sale. Okay, and then we have this beautiful red house which is it's uh looks like they did a lot of work it looks like all the eaves have been replaced but it's arts and craft shingle style i would to be to look uh, traditional i would have painted it uh, a, a dark green it looks like they have some of it painted dark green the red's a little odd for me so another very nice victorian it's been it looks to me like it's been modified but uh, it's still not it has a lot of character 
has a lot, it, the paint colors are arts and crafts, they're not Victorian. So it, I think it could be transitional. It also looks like uh, the patio was said uh, closed at one point. Looks like it could use some TLC. Yeah. Okay, so we're going up Main Street right now. Oh, this, the first hospital in existence. <laughs> this is Corona Regional. I've spent some time at Corona Regional. Uh, not treated very well. Very bad. Very bad. <laughs> and we're coming up on the place where I used to work, and behind it, it's right here. I used to work at this chiropractic place, and behind it is where we got married. There's a little patio. Um, restaurant type place and we got married back there. We've got a Victorian right over here. Yeah. That I hate the paint job that's on it. The yellow and blue. Yeah, I definitely would change the paint job, but it's a nice Victorian. This house was for sale when we were looking to buy a house. Yeah, Val tried to get me to buy this house for her. They wanted seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars for it. There's a height the bubble just before, just before it popped. There's no possible way to this house. Oh, but of course they had a loan that we could have had that we could have bought it, but you know we would have lost it immediately. It's it a is house. a beautiful house. It it's has five bedrooms. It has a, it has a um, outbuilding that has two other bedrooms in it. And it has a pool, doesn't it? I, yeah, I do believe it has a pool. And it's an arts and crafts, and it is a very beautiful house. The indoor, when we looked at pictures of it, because we never went inside, but the pictures are beautiful. It's well restored. Somebody did a lot of work in there. So it very well may be worth the hundred seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars but uh, I don't think they sold it. No, it went down in price. So this is another one of the Victorian houses. I absolutely love, love, love this house. I love the colors of the house. I love the design of the house. I love the little statues that they have all through the yard. They have that one there. They have some over there more. Just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous house. Love it. Love it, love it. And there's the blue Victorian. And this house was also for sale at one point. And I believe this was the house where the mayor lived. I believe so. So that is also a beautiful old house here in Corona. I love the little wishing well in the front yard. So Val is still not home yet and I've got to get this log up so there isn't going to be any shout outs, but she did phone in her question for the, for the night. She will answer last night tomorrow as well. We're going to be at the doctor's pretty much all day tomorrow and we will be vlogging that. So Val's new question is, what is your earliest memory? And for those of you who are still following along on my horror film trivia, um, the uh, sequel to Rocky Horror Picture Show was a 1981 movie, Shock Treatment. And the ones who got that was, first was um, Terry Johnson, second Greg Myers, third Bambi S, fourth John Harrison, and five Tanya Longley. Okay, today's trivia is, what are the three rules of the Mogwai? from Gremlins 1984. So we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.